The Cleveland Cavaliers somehow found the spotlight as they fired Tyron Lue after starting out uh, 0 and 6. I what 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 were they? Th- what are you thinking? What's the front office thinking with this roster? Shouldn't somebody in the front office be fired? Like, what did Tyron Lue do to deserve to be fired? Did did he did he lose the locker room? I. Okay, so who's going to make this team formidable again? It's not going to be a coach. Somebody in the front office is going to have to make him formidable. It's embarrassing. It really is. Like, I felt sad for Tyron Lue. Yeah, Fritzy. I've got to go at least two and four in those first six yeah, games. I, gone. I wonder if you go two and four, you keep your job. But you go 0 oh and 6, we got to get rid of you. Oh, Chris Mannix from Yahoo. Mannix Sports, their senior NBA writer. What, what happened in Cleveland here, Chris? You know, Dan, my, my understanding is that there was a disconnect between Ty Lu and the front office slash ownership about who should be playing right now. I mean, Ty, as you saw from, you know, some of the Instagram posts after the fact, but that there's a strong bond between Ty and the vets on that team, the J.R. Smith, the George Hills, the Kevin Loves. I mean, these guys went to – you know, four straight finals together. And the message coming from the front office, from what I'm able to understand, is that we need more of, you know, Colin Sexton. You know, we need to play these young guys as we, you know, effectively tank um, and, and try to rebuild that way. So I think that's where the disconnect was greatest, and that's what cost Ty's job. Wait, they want to tank, and therefore they don't want the veterans to play because then they don't have as good a chance of tanking if you have good players out there? Well, I don't think the word tank was never used necessarily, okay. but it, it, it's, you know, when you're playing a rookie point guard 35 minutes a night or whatever it is, that's what you're doing. I mean, you know, Philadelphia did the same thing for, for years. When, you, when you're sitting your more talented guys in favor of younger players who are going to make more as mistakes, you know, it, it's just a matter of semantics to me. Man, six games in. If, if they went two and four, does he keep his job? One and five, does he keep his job? I really think, Dan, it all depends on who he's playing at that point. Oh, um, I, I do. I mean, I think I don't think it was. Look, this this Cavs team stinks. Like yeah. they're they're really bad, and, and nobody's I mean, surprised at that. Now, I mean, you couldn't like exhume Red Auerbach and, and have him on the sidelines and, and have it be successful. So that it, it's it is what it is. I just think that that the ownership in the front office wanted to see more of the young players and. I don't think Ty was willing to do that. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.